Hello, um, I'm your Saturdays. My name is Maria. Uh, we met last weekend. Yes, yes we did. Last weekend, I was flying to London, so I wasn't able to, um, actually put up my own video, but the lovely Josephine did that for me. Thank you. Um, so, yeah, but, and I guess this week I won't really be able to either, so, um, it's not Saturday right now, by the way, but this will be up Saturday. Um, so this week's theme was books. I mean, what can I say? Like, reading has always been, like, a super absolutely important part of my life, and I think it would be hard to describe myself without mentioning that I am an avid reader, um, or so I'd like to think anyway. Um, and actually I didn't get to read very much this past year because of school stuff, university. <sighs> but my favorite authors are Jonathan Safran Foer, J.D. Salinger, Nick Cornby and Herman Hess. Love, 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 love Herman Hess. Um, my favorite book by Herman Hess is Beneath the Wheel. So Beneath the Wheel is basically about a boy who's trying to find himself, but like, um, but he's finding himself in the same way that most of us do. You know, like we screw up a lot, but then like through, um like dealing with those different situations, we like get experience and then, you know, we grow up from it. So it's kind of like that. Um, but I'm not gonna like tell you what happens in the book because then you won't read it. So read it. Yeah. So another really good book that you should read is called Nine Stories by J.D. Salinger. And I'll just put a bunch of books in the description for you guys to, you know, maybe pick up or whatever. If you haven't already read them, you know, might as well. I think reading is important. I think that, you know, um, all books are different, and I've actually, I have some right here. Some books are informative, so I have London A through Z, A to Z, whatever, from my travels. So it's informative, right? It's informative. Um, here's a journal. Journals are like making your own book, so, I mean, you write something down, it's like a personal narrative. You're writing yourself a story. You're writing yourself as a story, I mean, like, all of us are texts. You know, we can all be interpreted a different way, so, we're just walking books, man. This is a fictional story, but it's really good. It's, uh, Neil Gaiman's American Gods. Thank you, Malon. Totally enjoying this enjoying the hell out of this. The great thing about books is that whatever you read, you have your own interpretation of it. And like, you know, no one, okay, you can read the same thing as someone else, but you won't read it the same way. A great example of this would be if you read, say, um, The Little Prince, um, and then you talk to someone who also read The Little Prince. And they're gonna have like a completely different reading of it. It means different things to different people. If you haven't read The Little Prince, do so. It's really great and if you've read it, then read it again. Like it's totally, like it's one of those books that you can just read over and over and over again. Books. Books, man. Just saying hi to my bow ties. I love you guys and I miss you so much. And um, you know, thank you for watching this video and I hope that you've had a book-worthy week and enjoy something great. Totally have to give a shout out to my friend Clay for making the music for this video. So thank you, and you guys should definitely check out his music at Clay, da Clay Dudash Music on t uh, YouTube, and he also has a Tumblr and a Twitter and a Facebook account. So look that stuff out. Look that stuff up. Over and out.